pretty well me seeing from four cities teaching i hope everyone had a good week um or a good day if you watched my uh video i posted earlier this morning that i filmed yesterday opening up uh the caroline's birthday box yeah so i did get some stitching in on that that you'll see uh, momentarily um but yeah this morning I went for a run, which was more like a walk. Um, I had a slight cold this week, and so <clears throat> it hasn't really turned into anything, so it's good. But um, yeah, some difficulty breathing this morning, so I just uh, took it easy. Um, and then my son and I just got home from the pool, and yeah, we're going to barbecue for dinner tonight. Oh, I, there's something I wanted to grab. That I forgot last week. Um, yeah, actually I think I can probably just go right into what I forgot last week. Um, so as far as haul goes, not much haul, but, um, Last week on our way home from <clears throat> visiting my parents in Owana Sound, we stopped at um, a yarn outlet in Listowel. I know um, Caroline has mentioned that before, I believe. Excuse me. Um, so I was able to pick up some knitting related items before I get to that. I also picked up the Within the Dream um floss for the artsy housewife um patreon pattern don't know when we need to get that started but i have it in my stash okay i think i need those receipts right those all right so i picked up a couple these are 11 inch needles US ones. So well, hopefully those will work okay. Um, picked up two so I could potentially have two socks going at once. Oh, yeah, I needed those earlier. Um, picked up some anchor needles. And picked up a little crochet hook on a keychain. And then for sock yarn, this sock yarn is called Flax. This one is called Cascade, possibly. And then these ones, a little bit funner. This is Bamboo Pop Sock. 55% bamboo. Breeze is what this one's called. And then this one is the same base. Overcast is what this one is. Yeah, I picked up that stuff. <coughs> All right, so that's what I got for haul. So stitching. Everything is literally everywhere. Okay, the first one was the Nordic Nutcracker, which was a new start. 
And the hashtag for that is Nuts About Christmas. So I know that um, the hashtags aren't working very well. But there's my start there. So I'm only doing the center part. And like I'll do the yellow outline, but I'm not stitching all the green in the middle. That's why I chose the green fabric. Oh, Arlo is under the blanket. That's why it's a disaster over there. Um, started that on Monday. And then I also worked on the Summer Joy Sampler Sal from Poor Boys and NL Girls Patreon. So we finished that egg. So I'm very happy with how that egg has turned out. from Autumn Lane's tree. That's how he's looking. Got some good progress on him. So many different colors in those Autumn Lane charts. So not only is it Jolly July, but I'm also doing the Tour de France um, prompts as well, um, from reporters. Lots going on right now. But it does make my Jolly July stuff a little bit more focused. At least I, um, have a set number of stitches I want to do. So, um, for Snow Village, I worked on this one here. Got that tree in there. So that's how that one's looking. Thursday, I just went to bed. <laughs> um, so I did two of my Jolly July pieces that day, oh, on Friday. So I worked on the June ornament from Fox and Rabbit, and then one in Threads um, Sal in 2020. That one's looking. I do need to get a couple finishes so I can. I have two starts slated for next week. And I won't have any spots now because I started the birthday sale. So I need to get some finishes. Um, Jolly St. Nick. Nice to change the housewives. On there. Worked on his sleeve. You can't hear my son too bad. He's very loudly. I'll find his friends online. I think he's playing with his friends, but maybe he's playing with his father. <clears throat> Dream of a Winter Garden. So this one got a lot of stitches because I needed 500 stitches on a matching pair. For a prompt, so I chose these birds. Um, and I did a color conversion because I wanted the birds to be blue. Um, JJ X Stitch, she had done blue birds, um, and so that inspired me to do blue birds as well. 
So the light blue is Steel from uh, Roxy Floss, and the dark blue is Hey Sailor. So I'm really happy with how they turned it. out my stitching book club piece which is that one there I'm just calling it small treats um, I do need to put in about 30 more stitches to get to the 200 stitch prompt for um, the Tour de France so when I'm done here I will get that done I thought the border would be a good way to get some quick stitches in. And then last but not least, but I started weeds and wallflowers. By the Art Dearest Wife for the Caroline birthday sale. I got the 20 count. And that's 201 stitches in there. scissors so she gave us are super sharp you can see the curve and uh, they're curved ever so slightly yeah super sharp <clears throat> all right and that's it um so my plans for next week are just to continue on with jolly july i know that store doesn't really count for well it's not christmas but it's a jolly july start in my eyes and um yeah so just continue on with with jolly july working through my calendar um have everything lined up for um, each day. Um, I did move a couple things around this weekend just to to make it work for some prompts and that's fine. Uh, I'm not having very much luck with the categories for why, uh, so I'm not going to put too much effort into that. Um, yeah, just focus on the other stuff. Yeah, got lots of lots of stuff to do for sure. All right, everyone have a good week and we will see you next week.